Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel Data BI SQL. So in today's uh, video, right, uh, we will continue with the Amazon uh, SQL interview questions part 21. Sorry, part 20. Uh, before this, I have made around uh, part 1 to part 19. Uh, uh, so please look at those videos. Uh, it covers a lot of different concepts. Uh, uh, of SQL from beginner level to intermediate to advanced level as well. So uh, uh, there is a playlist which I'll I'll put a uh, put a link for that in comment section, uh, and then this video will also be added to that uh, comment section. Uh, and then whatever uh, I'll whatever table I cover in this video, I'll I'll just put uh, create table and the uh, data which is basically insert into clause, insert into values. Uh, uh, and then select query we cover in the comment section as well. Uh, uh, so uh, before we get started, right? Uh, if you like my channel uh, and if you feel like you know it, it's it's pretty useful for you, either you are giving interviews or, uh, or in your day-to-day uh, uh, life as a SQL developer or a BI developer or data engineer, then please do like my channel. Uh, sorry, please do like my videos and subscribe to my channel and that will help uh, help this channel. So let's get started. Uh, so there is a table uh, taxi underscore rights. So if you have seen the video number 19, right, then I have covered this con this particular table. Uh, so if I recommend that you go and look at that video first, the, the video number 19, part 19. Uh, but if you if you don't, then that's also fine because it's a different question. And as I mentioned, uh, the the create table and insert table, I'll, I'll I'll put it in the in the comment section, so you'll get uh, you'll be able to see the data that I am seeing. All right. So this is the taxi underscore rights table. So if you see this table, right, uh, uh, it's basically ID is there, then then category is there. So category you have business category and personal category. Uh, in purpose you have meeting, customer visit. In personal you have dinner, meet friends, and then miles is basically number of miles driven for that purpose, right? So you have 21.5 miles driven and charge is like the amount that is paid, right? So $47.8 and an expense date is the date when when uh, when when the ride occurred, right? Or, or the uh, uh, or the expense occurred, right? So it's a pretty straightforward table, right? Typical taxi rides, if you see uh, some somewhat similar to, uh, 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 if you have used Uber app, right? You have the business category, personal category, and then uh, you know, uh, uh, so basically, uh, you, you, we all use Uber or, or Lyft or, or, or the taxi rides, right? So it's a pretty straightforward table, uh, self-explanatory. So the question is, write a query to show average revenue and miles by purpose. Average revenue and miles. So basically, average revenue and average mile it is actually. So average miles by purpose, where purpose is any kind of lunch. Okay. So... Uh, let's say let, let's read this statement right first where purpose is any kind of lunch so any kind of lunch means what so for example uh, let's say when you go to purpose you say team lunch business lunch right uh, then you have lunch right just lunch as well so basically when they are saying that any kind of lunch right uh, so what does that mean you have to pick up uh, the 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 data from the purpose where the where, where where lunch is mentioned okay so four places lunch is mentioned right so what does that tell you that tells you that you need to have a filter on on the lunch right but uh, but here uh, you can't just have a filter like is equal to lunch right so if you do is equal to lunch what happens is the team lunch will not come up because when you say is equal to right uh, it will just pick the word lunch so what what we use for that so we can use a like for that. Okay, so like is this is the is the is the syntax that we can use in the where class, right? So what like does? Uh, and I write the syntax, right? And so we'll come to know and explain that. So when you do like, right? It basically like matches the word in the entire purpose. So it will pick up not only lunch, but it will pick up business lunch and team lunch as well. Okay, so that's one thing you have to understand. The second part of the query is show average revenue. So average revenue means what? The charge, right? The charge is the is basically the amount that is paid, right? So the amount that you pay, right, is basically a revenue for a company, correct? So that's an average revenue, and the average miles. So miles is directly given, right? So average miles. So 
by purpose right so by purpose so when they say by purpose right so just frame it in your mind right i mean like i mentioned before in my videos as well that you know when the when the question is is presented to you just try and break the questions right what is going to go in the where clause what is going to go in the select clause what is going to uh, you know whether you need any any functions here right looks like here we are going to need average function right because they are asking for average right so uh, so all those things just keep it in your mind right and then ask questions if you don't understand anything right so basically by purpose means what they are asking you to group by right so they are saying that uh, give me a revenue average revenue and average miles right uh, where uh, you know uh, average revenue and average miles right where the purpose is any kind of a lunch right and you need to categorize that by purpose so that means they are saying you group by purpose correct so it's pretty pretty st like you know so that way you know that you need to use group by right you need to use filter condition you need to use the functions right so uh, let's just uh, let's just get started with the query right i mean uh, you if you understand the select clause if you understand the group clause if you understand the function if you understand the the the, uh, the where clause it makes it easy right so what they are asking for they are asking for select purpose right they are saying select purpose okay uh i know they are asking for revenue uh sorry uh, the average revenue but let's just let's just do miles okay um and then uh, let's do charge okay where purpose like i mentioned you need to do like and then percentage okay so what does percentage do right what percentage does means when you do a percentage anything that before comes before lunch it will pick it up and anything after lunch it will pick up right so here you have business lunch so after lunch there is nothing what let's say they they had the data as lunch business right uh, lunch team so, if, so what would have happened if you don't put a percentage after that it will not work correct so here let's say you just put this okay so what happens Mm, let's see why that's not working. Purpose, mile, and charge. Oh, we need to use from class, right? I mean, from. gets miles right okay so what you got here all the four rows right business lunch team lunch right lunch lunch and then 5 7 12.4 so if you used equal to here right let's just remove percentage and let's say you you tried lunch correct just lunch okay what will happen is since you are doing equal to it will not pick up the other rows okay so that's why you need to use like function okay so by using the like you can get the data right so now what they are now you got the raw data set correct so now what's the ask the ask is average revenue and average miles by purpose right so here business lunch and team lunch uh, you don't have two records so average of this is like you know same right because you have only one row correct in lunch you have two rows correct so what is the average of miles it will be four correct because four plus four is eight divided by two right because you have two rows so that is four and 12.5 plus 12.7 right uh, that is 25.2 right 25.2 divided by two is basically 12 point something like six correct if you had three rows of lunch then what will happen you need to have addition of 3 divided by 3 right a simple right i mean simple average so let's do one thing average so there is a there is a function called average in postgres right as average of miles as average miles and charge as average revenue correct now if you run this query right it's not it's going to give you an error why because you use the 
aggregate function here, right? So when you use an aggregate function, you need to do a group by, right? So that's a pretty straightforward thing. And they are also asking by purpose, right? So you need to group by purpose, okay? Right, group by purpose. So when you do this, all right, what will happen is we'll get the answer that we are looking for. Taxi charge, okay. Okay, here also we need to use average, correct? Because they are asking for average charge, correct? Right? So there you have it, right? I mean, see, you have for lunch, you have like four and then 12.6 like we discussed, right? So what it is doing is, it is satisfying the answer that they're looking for, right? So basically, write the query to show average revenue and average mice, average revenue and average mice by purpose, right? By purpose, where purpose is any kind of lunch. So purpose is like any kind of lunch, right? So basically team lunch, business lunch and lunch. So basically on an average, they spend like on team lunch, average miles for seven, average was 18.4, average was five, average revenue got 12.4 and average uh, miles for lunch was four average revenue for uh, uh, lunch was 12.6 right so this is uh, this is like very smaller set of data like you saw like like 20 rows maybe right but in a in a in a real world lot more data right so uh, think of it as like a like a you know a real world example right i mean uh, you know obviously if you see uber and taxi uber or any taxi service or, or lyft or any other taxi service right they want to see right where people are spending more correct uh, where people are driving more, right? On an average uh, in a month, right? Here they are not asked month, but they can ask month, right? They want to see on an average, what category brings them the most revenue, correct? What category uh, uh, is where people travel a lot, correct? People usually don't travel a lot for like lunch or or uh, uh, maybe business lunch, right? But not for, not for lunch kind of activity, but let's say conference is there, then people might travel, right? When they travel to airport or when they travel to any conferences, that time they might travel more, right? So they want to do analytics on that, right? So basically uh, the purpose of all these things is like doing analytics, right? So they might ask this kind of questions, right? Which relates to their business, right? So if you're attending any Uber related interview question or even in the Amazon interview question, right? These kind of questions will be asked because, uh, you know, they, they, they it not, not necessarily it's their business, you know, uh, they are not in the taxi, price business, but they want to evaluate your knowledge uh, related to the functions, right? So average is one of the one of the aggregate function. They want to evaluate your knowledge on group by here. They want to evaluate your knowledge on like, right? So uh, and then they want to evaluate your knowledge by group by like, right? All those things. So, you know, all these things are basically that's the knowledge they want to evaluate, right? And then if you see Amazon is uh, kind of also in a transportation business, as you know, they deliver the package to you, right? They they have their own transportation business as well, right? And and, and they, they might ask this kind of question, you know, but, but with a different data. So they might not have like personal and business and all. They might just have like, you know, uh, uh, city and all those things, you know, the, the purpose is like for the delivery right, deliver the package and all those things. So that, that the table can be modified, the data can be modified and then, but the, the concept can, can remain same, right? I mean, they can ask average miles, average charge, average revenue, like which uh, which city brings in the most revenue, which city uh, the, the most number of package are delivered and things like that, right? So just uh, uh, keep in mind that whenever a question is presented to you, right? Just uh, frame it in your mind, break it down and select clause, group by clause, the function, what you want to use and then filter what is going to go right and it makes it very simple to write the query then you know once you once you figure that out that what is what is being asked and if you have any question right so here the here if you say they have written they have written average revenue but the revenue is not there in the table right so uh, you know if you look at the table there are two values of miles and charge so right charge is basically nothing but charge and so they, if you sum it up then it's become it's kind of a revenue for the company right so but if you if you if you still have a question you can ask the interviewer you know that uh, uh, can you please cl clarify the charge you mean by charges like you mean revenue i mean so you, you you mean charge correct so and then they'll clarify right so uh, that that kind of makes it makes it a little easy right all right guys uh, so this is it for today uh, uh, as i mentioned in the in the beginning that if you really like my videos and if the content is helpful 
please do like my videos right i mean uh, hit a like button on my videos and subscribe to my channel thanks guys